Blood and Water Season 4. Welcome, welcome back. We finally got Blood is Water. Blood and Water. And what stripping is this? I feel after a two-year wait, we could have had more oomph, more fire, more vibes, more thing. Because the overall feeling that I had watching the series was that it felt rush. It felt like we went from one part to the other part. And I was like, where, how did we end up here? A little bit of confusion, but I do like the fact that the way how it ended, it could be it, it, it could be a finality of the show, or it could be we could go a different direction. That part, I definitely was like, enjoyed. So that part, I definitely enjoyed. I do like the fact that they had... In the ending, KB and Poulang see each other and they kind of end up in like an air of chuckle and mystery. Because I do feel that KB was Poulang's like best relationship and it looked like they really, really, really like enjoyed each other. So that part, I'm like, okay, let's get back. Even though she had done some messed up things to him, his mother, father, everybody going down, yes. But I feel like love conquers all in that. I do like the fact that they do do current issues like this season was about, you know, hazing and school and school drama. Like it's giving me the black African version of Degrassi, right? It's always going to come up with some, we, do we, I don't, we didn't have pregnancy in it. Ooh, maybe somebody might be pregnant next season. That'd be a good way to go because Poulang, as she sexy, I said, girl, girl. Wapen, but you know, she was feeling herself, and I feel like she was looking like for her healing and dealing with her trauma. And people do use alcohol, sex, and different things to heal from things from trauma, and that's not a way to go, even though she was in therapy. You know, she still fell and she got right back up again. And you know, we know the one thing that Poulain gonna do is get herself in trouble and out of damn trouble, so yes. Blood and water. I would give it like maybe like a six or seven this 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 season. It felt rushed, and I feel like they could have did much more or go into more detail with some things. Yeah, yeah, but I'm I hope like I'm really hoping that they come back for a season five. I'm not ready to say say bye to blood and water, because y'all know that this is my series. Y'all know that I live for the fish, Vikile and Poulain. Okay, you know I live for it. But if it doesn't come back with season five, the way how they ended season four, I'm content. Like, they, the, everybody's moving on. You know, Poulang and them moved to Joesburg. I'm like, that's good. It's a fresh start that they needed because they done had, like, four years of madness. Okay, what are you? Madness, killing, death, kidnapping, all type of different things they have been through. They deserve to move on. They deserve to go somewhere else. So I pray that Netflix, you better bring back my show for season five. But if you don't, I'm okay too. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be like, I'm in the middle. All right, y'all. This is my recap for Blood and Water.